Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to convert pants or skirts from adults to a younger life stage in The Sims 4. You will not need advanced skills for the tools I use, but it's probably easier for you to follow the tutorial if you have a bit of knowledge. I suggest to check out other videos on my channel if you are a complete beginner and haven't heard of either Sims 4 Studio nor Blender. Good luck! To convert an asset from an adult to, in my case, a child, we first have to export everything of the asset, so we can work with it. In previous tutorials I showed you the cast preview cheat to export things fast and easy. In the version of Sims 4 Studio I use right now, this isn't necessary anymore. In the main menu, go to Tools, then Browse Game Content and then CAS. This is a new way to go into the cast preview without having to use a cheat. Now pick the asset you want to convert, click on Categories and change the life stage to Child. When we now go back to the preview, you see that the model has changed to a child. Click on Mesh and export the mesh. Also export the texture, the shadow map, the specular map and the normal map. Once this is done, open the mesh in Blender. The next step is to size the asset down and adjust it to the body. But first, if your asset has any visible leg parts of the adult, delete them by selecting the mesh group and pressing X or in edit mode selecting the parts with L and then pressing X and delete vertices. What I always do to achieve a good result is to export the mesh of the new bottom part and append it to my current Blender file. You will see later why I do this. Go to Sims 4 Studio, search for Newt and export the mesh. Every life stage has one. This one you now have to append. And now I'm starting to adjust the mesh to the body. There are different tools to do so. The most obvious one would probably be to size the mesh down with S. But this alone won't work. Click the tool right here and we can also stretch the mesh in different directions. We can also use proportional editing. This is the little button here. Activate it in edit mode, click on the vertex, press G and then scroll up until you see a circle. This is the area that is affected by the proportional editing. And now, as long as proportional editing is activated, every time you move a vertex, the area around the vertex will smoothly move as well. What we have to make sure is that the top part of the mesh is completely connected to the rest of the body without holes or other gaps. And this is where the nude mesh is handy. Delete everything of the leg that is covered by the pants, but keep the first row. Then delete the first row of the asset you are converting. If you want to get a better look at the area, you can deactivate the top part of the child mesh here. Now adjust the mesh so that both of the parts are as close to each other as possible. As soon as you are satisfied with your result, you can now join your mesh and the leg mesh by selecting both of them and pressing Ctrl J. Watch out that your UV map has no overlaps and if it's the case, maybe you have to adjust your conversion a bit so that more leg area is covered and you can delete it. Important, do not move the UV map of the legs. If needed, you can adjust the UV layout of the asset you created, but that has the consequences to adjust the texture and you can't work with the original ones anymore. Now we have to close the gap. Select the two vertices that you want to merge, right click, merge and merge at center. In the best case, your UV map is already fine, but if there are gaps, close them too by merging the vertices. Now you're basically done. Depending on the pants you convert, there may be other areas you have to fix. For my example, I have to close the bottom gaps here. 
Save your file and create a new Sims 4 Studio package file. Click on Create 3D Mesh and then on CAS. If you want to make your life easier, just pick the original asset you converted. In Categories, change the life stage to the one you converted to and import your mesh. If done correctly, you now see your conversion with the right textures for all swatches. But if this asset is from an expansion pack, it will only work for people that have this expansion pack. Because we want to make a base game compatible asset, we have to pick something from base game. What you have to check, I explain in the tutorial how to make CAS assets base game compatible. Because my assets are some shorts, I can pick the nude bottom as a base. Now I have to import everything I exported at the beginning. Every texture, the shadow map, the specular map, the normal map, and of course, the mesh. Make sure to give every swatch a color and to tag everything correctly. Last but not least, we have to make the LODs. I will link another video with a timestamp for making LODs because I already explained that before. But before you do that, please test your project and see if there are issues you only see in-game. One issue you encounter if you follow the tutorial to this point are black stripes on your sim's body. This is caused by the shadow map. I wanted to teach you a lesson because you can't export a shadow map from a project and import it to another one without editing it a bit. Open an editing tool of your choice, I use GIMP here as it's free to use, drag the shadow map into the window and add a white background layer. Now you can overwrite your old shadow map and import it into your project. The black stripes are gone. If you encounter other issues, maybe you can find a solution for it in another video on my channel or for personal help, join my Discord server. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and leave suggestions for more tutorials in the comment section below. Bye!